I was going to try and sneak by you, but I thought you might notice me. A little back. Uh, please, a little back. I can't block yeah. these guys. Okay. Yeah, um, I'm coming back. We've scheduled a date to come back on the 17th after a full day of questioning. Uh, two things are clear to me. One, we could have done this in open back, setting. Please. And two, when you read the transcript, you will see that we are talking again about Hillary Clinton's emails, for heaven's sake. So I'm not sure we need to do this at all. But I'm trying to respect the institution and to answer questions in a respectful way. You'll see I did that in the transcript. You'll see that if you get a transcript of my return visit, which I think will be a week after next. And then this will be over. Coney, you served as the Southern Coney. District of New York when uh, uh, the new Attorney General nominee served as Attorney General the last time. Do you have confidence that he can act with impartiality if he's confirmed to this new post? I like and respect Bill Barr. I know he's an institutionalist who cares deeply about the integrity of the Justice Department. So I'm sure he'll use the standard career uh, resources he has to judge what he should be involved in and what he shouldn't be involved in. But Bill Barr is a is a talented person who was a good attorney general the first time. I liked him very much then. I think he'll serve the Justice Department well. But there's a the question about whether he should recuse himself from the Mueller probe. Yeah, and, he'll, and I'm sure he'll talk to the career officials about how to handle that. You said you were okay with the Barr nomination itself. Were you, did you have any concerns about the firing of Jeff Sessions and the president? continually going after Judge Sessions for not recusing himself from the Mueller investigation. I think the President's attacks on the Justice Department broadly and the FBI are something that no matter what political party you're in, you should find deeply troubling and continue to speak out about, not become numb to attacks on the rule of law. But with the firing of Sessions specifically, did you have That's not something I can comment on. In a closed-door meeting with Memes, Former FBI Director James Comey was grilled on his handling of the Hillary Clinton email scandal and the beginning days of the Russia investigation. While Comey dodged questions pertaining to the ongoing Russia investigation that special counsel Robert Mueller now oversees, he did provide new insight into the origins of the probe, according to a transcript of his Friday appearance that was released Saturday. Comey said the FBI's counterintelligence investigation into potential ties between the Trump campaign and Russia originated with four Americans who were thought to be potentially helping the Kremlin in its efforts to interfere in the 2016 election. Comey didn't identify the Americans, explaining to lawmakers the individuals had not been named by the FBI publicly. But he said they were four Americans who had some connection to Mr. Trump during the summer of 2016 and were tied to the Russian interference effort. The former FBI director, the former FBI director, who oversaw the probe and was fired by Trump last year, said that the investigation was started toward the end of July 2016 and was not examining the Trump campaign or Trump himself, but rather four Americans. Comey said before July 2016, the FBI was examining a broader effort into Russian efforts to interfere in U.S. elections but was not aware of Americans helping in their effort. He told lawmakers he was first made aware of the broader Russian effort in June with the hacking and release of emails from the Democratic National Committee. He also fought back on criticism about the start of the FBI's investigation. Comey argued that the controversial dossier by British spy Christopher Steele was not what spurred the investigation or the crux of what led agents to request a surveillance warrant for Carter Page, who at the time worked as a foreign policy aide on Trump's campaign. Yeah.